Final Battle is the biggest event of the calendar year for Ring of Honor, and it has been since 2002. What I think fans can expect at Final Battle is some of the greatest wrestling that they'll see. What Ring of Honor has always been about for the past 20 years. We know Final Battle every year. History is made. This is your Final Battle in Ethan! It doesn't get any bigger or better than this. Oh, oh my god. Oh! Lethal injection! Kyle O'Reilly finally conquering out of cold. Oh, I got a This is, to me, the most important final battle out of all of the final battles that Ring of Honor has had in this 20-year history. It marks the commencement of something that will hopefully catapult Ring of Honor into a new era. And it all culminates on December the 10th for Final Battle. A lot of people had high hopes for when AEW and Tony Khan purchased Ring of Honor. A lot of people were hoping that this is going to be the Ring of Honor that they loved. And Chris took that away from them. And I feel responsible because I could not stop Chris. What initially started out as a deliberate desecration of the legacy of Ring of Honor has now led to me becoming the greatest Ring of Honor champion of all time. Oh, the irony. What Chris Jericho is doing right now is nothing short of historic. Chris Jericho is on a whirlwind pace that no other Ring of Honor world champion has had as champion. It seems like he thinks that he, Chris Jericho, is bigger than Ring of Honor itself. I am the greatest, the most important Ring of Honor champion of all time. All Honor the Ocho! You cannot be a Ring of Honor champion without honor. Chris Jericho does not represent what Ring of Honor means and meant to me. I have to stop Chris at final battle. Claudio Casagnoli with a massive right hand. And I think the message has been sent to the Ocho. He attacked me like a criminal. And you know why? Because he has lost every time it really matters. He can't win the big one against Chris Jericho. I don't just need to beat you. I have to beat you. I will give you one more chance at the Ring of Honor Championship. But if you lose, you will become the new member of the Jericho Appreciation Society. I've been tired lately, tired of all the drama. I'm tired of being looked at as the guy who doesn't win the big one. If I don't win that final battle, I deserve to be in the Chris Jericho Appreciation Society. Claudio is the one wrestler that has proven that he can pin and submit Chris Jericho. He's done it twice on AEW television. To me, Claudio is the only man that can stop Chris Jericho and his reign of terror with the Ring of Honor World Championship. I think Claudio is determined enough that he will regain this Ring of Honor World title. However, you can only prepare for someone like Chris Jericho so much so he may pull a trick out of his sleeve that no one's ever seen before. Claudio, every time we step in the ring, it is a great match. There is no doubt about that. And you have beaten me twice. But when it comes to the big game for the championship playoff, Chris Jericho always wins. And at final battle, I am going to beat you and open up a new door for your career. I feel the pressure of every single person who loved Ring of Honor. I feel the pressure of every single person that supported me over my career. What it comes down to now is who can dig deeper? Who wants it more? I think Claudio Castagnoli is a tremendous pro wrestler, but I think he's a better sports entertainer. I think there's so much inside of him that we haven't even seen because he has done things a certain way. He hasn't had the guidance and the mentorship of a Chris Jericho. He hasn't been to the top of the mountain like I have. You don't get many opportunities at the Ring of Honor World Championship, and for Claudio, this may be his last shot, his final chance at final battle. As for Chris Jericho, it's like a party, and that party may come to an end if he loses the Ring of Honor World Championship here. I will put an end to your disgraceful reign 
for myself and every Ring of Honor fan out there. I'm tired of the Ring of Jericho. I'm tired of you disgracing the Ring of Honor World Championship. And I'm going to walk out, final battle, and be the new Ring of Honor World Champion. You're in black and white. And when you join the Jericho Appreciation Society, you're gonna hit the land of Oz, man. The land of the JS and everything's in white. Technicolor. I can't wait to have you join us, Claudio. This all started uh, in Toronto. Oh, wow, if you answer with that. Wow, the crowd all over here. A lot of people forget the fact that I wrestled on the indies for 10 years before I got signed to the other place. You know, I just lost who I was there. I lost everything about myself trying to be the good guy that everyone expected me to be. And then it all changed in Toronto. This is a hockey oh fight my now. God! It, it was just something different. Like, it, it just, I don't know if it was cold air that night. I don't know if it was the people booing me out of the arena from the moment my music hit. It was just a different night Don't for me. Don't mistake the smiles on Athena. This is, she's a competitor. This is who I am. And for the first time in, I don't know, seven, eight years, I feel like Athena is finally getting to show the world who she is. If you look back at the history of women's wrestling and where Athena has been, I made Athena. She can tell you that. Heading into this Ring of Honor Women's World Championship bout, I think a lot of fans may not know that Athena and Mercedes have some long-standing history emanating from the Shimmer promotion. Shimmer was interesting. Back at Shimmer, no one knew who Athena was. For five long years, I've been trying to prove myself in the world of women's wrestling. I was the young kid coming in for an opportunity, and Mercedes was this established veteran that most of the locker feared for some reason. Mercedes Martinez and Athena have carried the flag of women's wrestling. I remember everyone was like, oh, Mercedes, she's the greatest Mercedes. That's the person that you have to be to become someone in Shimmer. And so I took that challenge on. They've had many battles together, but never on a stage like Final Battle. They come into this bout very different wrestlers than they were when they competed at Shimmer. I do have a lot of respect for Mercedes. Well, I did. But Athena just decked Aubrey Edwards! I would never take away from her talent, from her determination, from her passion for this business. But the way she's going about things right now is the wrong way. Wait, it's... Mercedes Martinez, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. She's been out with injury. She hasn't been to work in three months. But she is here and she has seen enough out of Athena. Yeah, I've been gone for a little bit, but I've come back better. I've come back stronger. I've come back more determined and with more passion in my heart for this business than ever before. And a new Ring of Honor Women's World Champion crowned here tonight. Mercedes Martinez, your victor. Mercedes isn't Jody Threat with all due respect. Mercedes is a world champion, and Mercedes is a fighter. This title means everything to me. This title is a culmination of how hard I have worked in this business to put Ring of Honor Women's Division on the map. You're big, you're bad, and hell, you're probably the hardest hitter in this locker room. But that's not gonna stop me. You come with your aggression. You come with that fight. Bring that same energy that you have been bringing week after week and putting it on the girls. Bring that bitch mentality. This title is going to stay around my waist. Know that December 10th, it's not my final battle. It is going to be yours. To beat her for the Ring of Honor Women's Championship, would be superb, it would be the icing on the cake, and definitely the push I need here at AEW. <laughs> but to retire Mercedes Martinez, well, that's a sweet, sweet victory, ain't it? The Jenny 
huh? The journey, the journey, look at the journey, my friend. We went through so many guys. The embassy is steamrolling through everything that AEW has sent our way. I look at those three and I, I think it'd be exciting to get in the ring with, I don't know, three mountains of meat. I mean, think of how heightened the drama is gonna be when, when me and my boys are, are wrestling a couple of hippopotamuses. If you know anything about the history of the embassy, the embassy is a cornerstone in Ring of Honor. And at final battle, when the embassy makes its grand return to help raise this company out of the ashes, the embassy with Brian Cage, Toa, and Khan of the Gates of Agony are going to be the new ROH six-man champion. Me and my boys have the six-man tag team championships. That says we are the best. But it also attracts some of the toughest challenges there is. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. I look at the embassy and I see something exciting. I see a challenge. I see three men that are gonna help me and my boys put on the performance that the audience craves. So Dalton Castle and the Boys, <laughs> the six-man titles are coming home to the embassy at final battle. At final battle, there is gonna be a contest like you've never seen before. Because we are getting in the ring with three wildebeest. Yeah, I mean, the embassy, sure, they got size, they got muscles, but I got boys. And these boys, come, come here, they got attitude. And me, I got the power of a peacock pumping through my veins. And when we get in that ring, there's gonna be an explosion. And the real winner that night is gonna be the viewer because we are gonna give them the greatest final battle ever. Since I wrestled Wheel of Yuta last time, I feel like this is gonna be a battle of who has grown the most. Yuta beat me our first matchup. I beat him the second matchup. I proved that I've grown more. That's it. it! Yeah! Sesco did it! Daniel Garcia, without the assistance of Chris Jericho, defeats Wheeler Yuta. I beat him when I was going through one of the hardest times in my life. So imagine what I'm gonna do to him and how bad I'm gonna beat him now that I'm confident in myself and now that I know exactly who I should be and I know where I belong. And that's being a sports entertainer. He's defending the Ring of Honor Pure Championship on the biggest stage that he has faced to date. There will be more eyes, more Ring of Honor fans focused on what happens to the Pure Championship than ever before. I've learned that there's some people I can trust, there's some people I can't. Daniel Garcia is one of those people that I can't trust. So I'm gonna put an end to this chapter by winning my Pure Championship back. I'm just so sick of Wheel of Utah. I'm sick of seeing his face. I'm sick of hearing his name. I'm sick of being tagged in tweets. I'm sick of all that. And I'm ready to put this final battle, it's gonna be a final battle for real. I'm really ready to put this to rest. There's a lot of pressure on Daniel Garcia, a lot that he puts on himself, a lot that Chris Jericho puts on him, but more importantly, a lot that the Ring of Honor fans will put on him. And I'm excited to see how he reacts in Texas. Garcia's been trying to drive a wedge between me and my mentors for a very long time. He's been trying to do everything he can to get in the way of the Blackpool Combat Club. We're, we're over it. This is over. Final battle, that is it. When we had that sit down with Renee a couple weeks ago. You know nothing about it, all right? Let me go. Let me go. I'm glad I made the right choice joining the JAS because the Blackpool Combat Club is falling apart. It took everything inside of me not to leap across that interview set with Renee Young and to wrap my hands around his throat. And I know in a Purell's match, I can't do any of that, but it's gonna make me feel even better that I beat him without having to do anything. Winning the Pure Championship, bringing it back to the BCC, means everything to me. The only reason that I want anything to do with Daniel Garcia anymore is because he has my Pure Championship, and I have to prove that I deserve it. I have to prove that I deserve to be in the group I'm in. I'm gonna beat him at what he thinks his own game is, being a pure technical wrestler. He thinks because I'm a sports entertainer, I can't do that as good as him, but I proved that I can, and I'm gonna prove that I can do it again. At Final Battle, I will bring back my Ring of Honor Pure Championship to the Blackpool Combat Club. The event is called Final Battle, and this is going to be the final battle between me and Wheel of Yuta for hopefully a very long time. 
I'm gonna put this to rest. I'm gonna hurt him so bad in that ring that he's not gonna wanna think about stepping in a ring or a room with me for a very long time. I think I'm gonna scar him, I'm gonna hurt him, and I'm gonna abuse him in the ring. I used to watch Samoa Joe when I was 15, 16 years old. And I used to watch him beat the crap out of people then. They don't get any tougher than Samoa Joe. I would like to welcome you to a new and glorious era. If you want to prove yourself in this business, there's no greater name to do it against than Samoa Joe. He's the personification of toughness in this business. Nobody hits harder for as long. 20 years this guy's been beating the crap out of people. He's a legend in this business. And I'm challenging him, I'm calling him up. I'm saying, you say you're a hard fighter, you say you're hit hard, you're the champion of television. Well, put that championship on the line against me. Samoa Joe has elevated the Ring of Honor World Television Championship to the point where it's on par with the Ring of Honor World Championship, and, and that's very difficult to do considering Samoa Joe has a record-breaking reign with the Ring of Honor World Championship. Samoa Joe is synonymous with the Ring of Honor. He is the longest reigning world champion in Ring of Honor history to this day. When Samoa Joe reappeared in Ring of Honor at Supercard of Honor, it was such a big moment and it reaffirmed that Ring of Honor was indeed still Ring of Honor. For the last seven years, I've been in New Japan Pro Wrestling, proving myself every single night, fighting some of the toughest fighters on this planet, but yet there's still people in America who call themselves wrestling fans who don't know who Juice Robinson is. One of only two men to have two victories over John Moxley. Well, on December 11th, you're all gonna wake up from the night before, ROH, final battle, and you will have watched Juice Robinson first Samoa Joe, and you will see that I proved myself against one of the hardest hitters in the last 20 years in this business. Win, lose, or draw, you will know who Juice Robinson is. Juice don't care, man, just go for it. He is vicious. Joe prides himself on being the undisputed king of television. For I am the one true king of television. All kings get dethroned. He simultaneously has held the Ring of Honor World Television Championship and the TNT title. And Joe brings a big fight feel to every match he's in. Samoa Joe has always been one of the most intense, hard-hitting professional wrestlers in the world. But now this new attitude of his, I think we're going to continue to see another level of his aggression. Oh, the, the title belt could be He's over! Out. It's He's over! Out. It's over! I have been in the ring with some of the best AEW wrestlers in the history of the company. John Moxley. Cody, Kenny Omega. December 10th, we're gonna add your name to that list, Samoa Joe. And the thing about all three of those guys that I just named, I've beaten them all before. On December 10th, I'm gonna beat you, Samoa Joe. And I'm gonna walk out with the Ring of Honor World Television title.